Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a box to go along with your Wizardopoly board. And Wizardopoly is basically like a Harry Potter Wizarding World inspired version of Monopoly that I designed. And the templates for that are available in my DIY for that, which is a video I made just a few videos ago. A lot of people were asking about a box, which I had not included with that. And I did plan on making one, I just kind of didn't really have the time and I, I wanted to get the game out to you guys first. So the board wasn't really top priority. So once I got that one out to you, I completed the design for the board, for the box, I'm sorry. And so now that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. In the comments to my Wizardopoly DIY video, I did get a lot of people asking about why I didn't use wizarding currency or that I should have used wizarding currency. So technically I did use wizarding currency in a way because I replaced dollars with galleons. But the comments were telling me that I should have used galleons, canuts, and sickles as well. So the reason I didn't do that, it would be like taking Monopoly and then adding quarters and dimes to it. And it would you'd have to change the game mechanics and it would just kind of overcomplicate things because then each thing you'd have to kind of change how the prices were done and um, how it adds up. It would just change a lot. Of, honestly, it would change a lot about the core mechanics and I wanted to keep it simple. Now, the reason I didn't use coins, because I did think about that, because obviously the wizarding world uses coins and not dollar bills. Um, but the reason I didn't do that is because I would have had to make hundreds of DIY coins and that would have just taken way too much time. So with all that set aside, let's get into how to make this Wizardopoly box. And you can find the free templates in the description box below, as well as a list of supplies. We're going to go over how to put this thing together. And then afterwards, I actually have some tips and corrections to uh, my Wizardopoly DIY. So stay tuned for that if you still haven't made yours. So making this box is actually pretty simple. You just need to print out the templates that I provided. I printed on 11 by 17 paper, but there's also eight and a half by 11 or A4 paper size templates available in the uh, template downloads. So these are to be printed single sided and then we're just gonna cut these out. I'm not gonna really go over too much on how to cut these out. I use a ruler and X-Acto knife on stuff with, with not too many things to cut out, but if you have like a, a larger stack of things that you need to cut out, you might wanna use a paper cutter. You should have cut off all of the white border around these and you should be left with about five, yeah, five pieces. And when put together and lined up, they make the full, uh, basically, reskin for your Monopoly box. So we'll set this main part right here aside. This is the last part we're gonna put on, and putting this on last helps it look a lot better because then you don't have these little sort of like seams uh, when you glue it together. So we'll set that one aside, and the first thing we're gonna do here is we'll start with just one of the sides. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna start with this side. So you can see right here, where the fold lines should be. So basically I'm just gonna fold along all those lines. So this one, and then there's a line here and a line here. And now we can unfold it and now you should have sort of crease lines where you folded it along here. And they should also extend out here and here as well. Next we're going to take our scissors and cut along the seam right here, just up to that corner right there. So you should just have this piece. And then we're going to make another cut from this corner in to where that uh, cut ends. So there, we can throw this piece away or recycle it. And then you should have just this sort of triangular shaped piece right here now. So the point of this is when you fold it in, it goes underneath and it creates the uh, corner of the box. So we'll do that to both sides. And now we'll start by gluing this on to this end of the box. So as you can see, the idea of this is just to reskin an old Monopoly box. To do this, I will use just a glue stick. You can use whatever type of glue you want. I just prefer to use glue stick because it's really easy and uh, it's 
a lot of people already have glue sticks around their house so they don't have to go out and get special, special supplies when uh, doing the DIYs that I post. And as you can see, I'm leaving about an inch on this side uh, glue-free and an inch on this side glue-free. I'm doing that on purpose and you'll see why in a moment. But then we'll just take this and we'll line it up right in the corner here. Make sure that that fold that we made goes right along the edge and then we can glue this side down. Next we'll grab this uh, top piece right here and this is actually the very top of the box. You can see the little wizard hats of the people on the front of the box so that's how you'll know where to put it. And it also has a crease line which will fold along. If we bring the box back in here and we, we're going to try and line this up, now you can see this hat goes to this hat right here. So that's why I left this uh, about an inch without the glue here so that I could slide this underneath because it just looks better when this glue or when this piece is underneath the, uh, the side piece. There's just a smaller uh, seam. It's less noticeable, which is why we're doing it this way. And we'll just do the same thing as before. I'm gonna use my glue stick and glue this on. And this time, I'm not gonna leave any space on the edge. It's just gonna be the, the entire uh, top of the strip here is gonna get glue. All right, now line it up again and glue it down. Now we can glue the uh, remaining bit right here on this part of the template. Just gonna add glue here and I'll actually add glue to this part of the paper as well. And you can put your hand up underneath the box so that you can press down a little better. And once you get that, I mean, that's pretty much how we're going to do it along this entire edge here. This piece is a little trickier to line up because the side over here, which you can't see right now, doesn't really have anything to line up with. And the side over here, the only thing that you can really use is this little stain. So you kind of have to place it and sort of lift it and make sure that you've got it just about at the right spot. If you haven't guessed, we only have one piece to glue back on yet, and it's this one. So just uh, line it up as best you can and glue it down. I'm gonna do this in sections, so I'm just gonna do like this top part first, like the top third. And you can flip the box over and kind of uh, just rub the back of it like this, the inside of it, to get that glue to stick down better. So now that this part's lined up, this bottom part is definitely going to line up. So all you need to do is lift it up and start adding more glue and gluing it down in those sections. I'm gonna do like another third of it here probably. Actually, it would probably be better if I put my scrap paper underneath so I don't accidentally get glue on the top of this. All right, now we've just got one more part to go. At this point, you'll want to get in there and work out any wrinkles you might have. Luckily, I only had one over on this side and it's gone. So yeah, this turned out pretty well. And the next thing we're gonna do is just glue these edge parts uh, over. So we'll start with this one and we're just going to wrap it around inside the box like this. Start from the middle and just sort of pinch and, and pull it in so that it gets all the way around the box and go around the edge there and in the corner. And there we go. And now we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, next I'm going to do the larger middle flaps here. 
and then there's smaller ones on the sides and those are the ones I'm going to do last. Okay, so this side's completely done. Now we're just gonna do the same thing to this side. And next, we don't have to do anything <laughs> because we're done. Unless your box has some kind of design on the bottom side of it as well. Luckily, mine does not. So I can just put this on and it has a white back. And that is my Wizardopoly box. Unfortunately, yeah, some of them do have like images and things on the other side. If that's the case, you can just like cut up a uh, brown paper bag and just glue that on the bottom side. This is kind of the same way you, we did on the top side. And that will cover up whatever designs on the bottom. But yeah, that's it. Now we have the Wizardopoly box along with all the Wizardopoly money and, and stuff on the inside. This is actually my copy that I'm working with. Um, I have all the pieces and I'm using the wooden houses and hotels here uh, the special dice that was printed for me and I am using the seen it Harry Potter pieces again these are a uh, metal version of it but I'm also using the boot from uh, the original Monopoly game because it's kind of like a port key and I have not done my board yet so it's still just an old Monopoly board <laughs> But I do plan on doing that soon, I just haven't gotten around to it. Definitely before Halloween. And now let's talk about the one that I made for uh, the giveaway. This is the actual Wizardopoly board that I made in my last video. I made a box for it as well. As you can see, I haven't skinned the bottom of it yet, but I will. This will all be uh, just brown. And we'll take a look. This is not the actual board that I made in that video. And here's where the tips come in for making your own. The, originally I had it uh, scaled at 20 inches by 20 inches. That was incorrect. It was actually supposed to be 19 by 19 inches. So keep that in mind. I've made the board and this time I put it all together the exact same way except the crease here. Um, I had it overlapping on this side by about an inch and glued down and that kept peeling up and it, it just would not stay down and it didn't look good and I wanted to get the winner something that looks good. So I just reskinned this uh, Monopoly board instead. I scaled the templates down to 19 by 19. That has been updated online, so you can download the new one now. I was also told about a couple of typos, one on one of the cards, and then another one on the board. The board typo was over here on the Acromanches uh, layer piece. It actually says 260. This one should be 280. So if you've already made your board, um, you can download the templates again and replace this piece. If you have not made your board yet, you're in luck. You can just, you know, it's fixed for you now. Also, one of these fortune cards had a typo as well. And it was uh, this uh, Circus Arcanus one. Collect is actually misspelled. I have not fixed it on this, but I will. Um, yeah, it's it has one L in it instead of two. So... If you need to replace this card, you can do so by downloading the, te the new templates. Anyways, yeah, back to the board. So what I did was instead of gl gluing it with an overlap on this side, I just sliced both off right at that seam so that these are actually, uh, I don't know if you can, let's see if we can tell. Actually sliced it off at the seam here. So if I fold it enough, you can see the original board underneath and I'm gonna fix that today, right now. And just take a black marker or a Sharpie, and then I'm just gonna color the board underneath with the black Sharpie. That way, you can't see it at all. And now I've got this whole thing colored black. So when I close the board back up like normal, none of the old board shows through. Anything that does, it just looks like a, a little bit of a black line. So that's perfectly fine. And yeah, that's it for the tips. If you have any tips at all um, that you kind of stumbled across when you were putting your uh, Wizardopoly board or box together, let me know in the comments section below. I hope that this helps you uh, get your Wizardopoly set complete with the box and the corrections and kind of makes it easier for you to make this project. So now it's time to announce the winner of the previous giveaway, which was for Spello Tape, which is basically Wizard's Duct Tape. 
So like when magic can't fix it or you're too lazy, Spello tape. And the winner is Adam Cutter. Congratulations, and I have sent you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.